Okay, we are going to go into this wormhole. Now, I think that um, this guy here Maybe, maybe I just go in with him and look around. I think that's what we'll do for the start and see what's in there. And then if I have to scan stuff down in there, we'll see. Guess I'll just leave it like that. Let's see what my orbit is. 60k. And that's within 24. And that's 77. Yeah, 60k might be okay for starting starting orbit on that. Oh, now I don't have the. Why is this other one not in here? And disconnected. Okay. Connect. There we go. How much is a ship worth? Active. 40 million, not too much. Oh, and uh, just to make sure I don't have any implants in, no, good. Large ships can't fit in here, so it's probably a smaller wormhole. Um, there's an average frontier rare ores and two ore sites. So there's stuff to be scanned down, but there's two ore sites. Go we'll take a look at them. We bookmarked the exit, so. Kernite, Omber, Arcanor, Nice, Pistot, Proxiers, 
All right, nothing too terribly exciting. Ordinary perimeter deposit. Pretty much the same stuff here. All right. So some combat sites in here and then a bunch of stuff that could be scanned down. Let's go back over the hole. This, this wormhole is pretty small. All right, so I'll be able to keep an eye on that. look at it. If I'm like this close, I'll hear somebody come through. And then this guy. So that's ice. We're not going to find any ice in there. That's right. Um, this one right here. All right. So that's, um, gas. Oh, I don't have any other scanning ships that will actually scan these other sites down other than the ice one. I'm trying to think of it makes me wish that I had a little Astero here or something like that to go scan the stuff down in there and then come back out. But I think I'm going to have to use like this to do it. Which is fine, I can. It's just not the most optimal. I'm wishing that I had a different scanning ship other than this. This one's not very strong. Obviously not going to get any ice in there. But we'll be able to scan with this. I don't want to take I don't want to take the nester in there. That's too much. What ship is this? It's an endurance. It's a little ice mining ship. For ninja. Ninja ice. Combat probe out here. Wow. 
Why are we combat probing? Welcome to the dragons. Woodland underscore badger just followed. Yeah, actually, uh, I couldn't even come in here with the... With the... Um... Couldn't even come in here with the nester anyway. The hole's not big enough. Welcome, Woodland Badger. be gas. We'll be able to go in there and huff gas for 15 minutes and then cloak up and then see what rats appear. Ever find if they could scan me down? No, we didn't figure that out. And I think I figured out a way to test it. Um, but I don't think we're gonna do that today. It's gonna take a bit of work. And there are some math formulas for it, but I don't know how to do them. So, I, I'm probably not going to get this sand down. This, this won't be strong enough. Oh, it's a relic. Okay, well, we can ignore that. You moved a carrier. Another relic site. Probably going to be the wormhole. next to
Oh, yes, I can move them closer together, but you know, you want a little bit of variance as well. Um, so. Yeah, I wouldn't move them closer together unless I was in the final stage. Trying to get something figured up. I was having difficulty. This is uh, this is not a very strong setup here either. I do not have good scan strength. This is tech one stuff on here. It's good enough though to find the gas sites. Dan, hello. Not sure what it just did there. get everything scanned down now because I got to go replace this ship. Which is why I may as well just have a good scanning ship to do stuff. What fit am I using? It's one we just made up. I don't have it listed anywhere. I can't recommend it yet. actually went down okay does it mean it's actually up here I don't know about that I guess it's possible I want to get you know as many opportunities scanned down as possible for uh, you know heading out of here I'm not interested in the data and relic sites. Looking for gas. Maybe if there was another ore type that gets scanned down. Not sure that there is though. That's not working out so well. Why is it having such a hard time on that one? There's only two left to scan down here.
Another wormhole. Okay. One left to scan down. It looks tedious. Well, it uh, it can be. Uh, so my skills are not the best on this character for this. Um, so you know, maybe it, maybe I have another character to be better. I don't know. So I do have another character that's got all the scanning skills, but then she doesn't have all the mining skills stuff. Oh yeah, so this is why we searching them out. This is another uh, gas site. Yeah, skills definitely make a difference. And then I'm using Tech One Launcher and Tech One Probes, and that's really just to keep the cost down. Because it's like very likely that I'll die in here, you know? Cannot warp wall cloaked. Oh yes, he can't warp wall cloaked. All right. Possible to have a character with all the exploration and industry skills? Yes. You're not limited to how many skills you can have. It's just a matter of time that it takes to train them all up. And so this character is very heavy industry um, and is also able to fly freighters and other industrial ships, able to do some mining, some scanning. All right, so this is a prospect. We're gonna see if we can not be scanned down. Uh, the answer is, I don't really know. Twelve thousand five hundred. Am I not all the way up on this ship? Mastery five. This, okay, I guess that's just the size of the of the hold. The other one, the endurance is nineteen thousand. This one's twelve thousand five hundred. Yeah, so you can do more than one account. See, you got like this guy here who's watching the other wormhole. That's another account, and you can train different things on the different ones, and you know you be able to get into stuff faster. But, you know, it's at more expense, too, so you got to weigh all of that on what's best for you. So we're going to use a timer. Actually, not a timer. We're going to use, well, maybe. Doesn't really show up. Let's see here. Never used the timer on this before. I guess I don't know how to get out. Oh, 
sound one, all right? So, we're gonna go in there and then it's gonna be basically, we got at 15 minutes, we could have rats spawn. Yep. Get me out of dodge. That one's not going to work. I don't need to have a site anymore. What do you think I'm doing? That's what I'm doing here. All right. Oh, micro warp drive to avoid all of it? Optimal range 1500? Oh, well. Then, warp at this at 500. I didn't realize he's at an optimal range. All right. Yeah, I know uh, gas prices are down, but we're just we're just having fun figuring out collecting resources. Uh, really, that's uh, that's the main thing I'm, you know, kind of working on here. So that timer, I expect rats to appear 15 to 20 minutes in, and then we'll see if my other guy can take the rats out.
It says I'm at 2.1 million worth so far. And maybe my guy can take out those other ones, the the towers. I don't know. We'll have to see. The gas prices are way down because of the changes they made in the requirements for building certain ships. That's okay. Uh, a lot of this stuff I manufacture myself and everything. And so, you know, I'll end up refining this or whatever and um, using it in manufacturing. And the more stuff I have to play with, the more I can learn about it. So, and I'm watching that other wormhole too with my other guy. So he, um, he's watching that and I don't know if anybody comes through. There's multiple wormholes in here, but I always know if anybody comes through that one. Like if somebody was doing something like starting to roll it or something like that, then I'd know to jet out immediately. All right, Brian, take care. When you're off to work, that means you got a job. Congratulations. So this gas right here is probably not the most valuable in the world. But if I could fill my ship here, I might have almost the value. Mini job, grocery store downstairs. Hey, perfect. Not a long commute. So when there's about one minute left or whatever, we'll, uh, cloak up. Oh, it says I'm over 100 kilometers from, away from that other one now. I was right next to both of them. This venture, no, this is a prospect. I have four and a half million worth of uh, gas so far. I, I happen to know, okay, so this is a smaller system. I, I don't know what class wormhole it is, but it's a smaller system. And I happen to know you can get into some of these where um, you can be making three to five million per cycle or whatnot. I mean, it can be pretty insane. Now, maybe with the, the gas prices dropping, uh, it's not gonna be that right now, but um, there is some, um, gas is one of the easier things to get a significant value worth out in one shot. But also like, how long are you sitting in here? You know, or is there anyone else in this uh, in this wormhole? It doesn't appear there's anybody else in here right now, but there could be, most definitely. You know, there's a there is a uh, a structure in here, and so uh, somebody probably does live in here. How many drones will fit in it? Six, but you can only launch three lights. It only has fifteen bandwidth.
Well, we're over six million worth now. I mean, are we getting, let's see here. We're getting probably about 700,000 per minute, something like that. It's an okay rate. It's not huge, but it's okay. Now, hopefully the rats that appear um, will be, oh, I didn't make any safes. Mm. Something to think about. Um, you know, hopefully any rats that appear, they are um, stuff that I can take out with my other guy who's in here. That's what I'm hoping for. He's in a stealth bomber. And if I see combat probes, I may let them scan me down or try to scan me down. Because, um, we're running, we're, we're running ECCMs here, and so we may be unscannable, or they'll see us on scan. They can't resolve. Seen people with rats 400 kilometers away and them ignoring them. Hmm. Maybe they'll just draw them out. I, I think that the rats are not going to be very big. This is a token perimeter reserve. Uh, token to me says probably smallest that there is. One of the smallest that there is. Something like that. Rat sit at zero. Well, they're quite a ways away. I'm 50 away from zero. We'll see what happens. How many points is the sensor strength on this? Well, 62. Turn this off though. It's 62 over 30. Yeah, so this doesn't, uh, this doesn't really change, change it, the afterburner doesn't. If I had a micro warp on, it would. I'd blow my signature up. The afterburner's not really. So we don't know exactly how much you have to have in order to um, be scan immune or resolve immune. And so we're gonna have to do some testing on that. Maybe we'll do that next week, I don't know. Timer for the rat spawn? Yes, it's, uh, I've been, I thought it was 20 minutes. Somebody told me it's 15. And we've got, uh, got that timer running there. We got less than two minutes. By the way, it's gonna have an alarm that goes off. I told it was okay to have an alarm. I've never used this timer before. Uh, I, I hope the alarm is not bad. We'll find out. When there's uh, less than a minute left, we're gonna get a little bit more distance. I gotta get distance enough to be able to get the cloak on.
All right. So just after this timer ends, and I want to see if it beeps. Hopefully it's not super annoying. Um, we should have something appear. So some people say, one person says 15, another one 17, 15, 15 safe, 20 unsafe. <laughs> well, look at it's flashing different colors. It didn't make any noise. Oh, I'm so disappointed. Man, I thought it was going to make some horrible 80s uh, type beep, 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 beep. Yeah, it's going to blast us all out, but nope. All right, so I'm just uh, sitting out here waiting. And um, at 15 minutes, we went and... Um, So, Bjorn says 15 they can spawn, but sometimes they take up to 20. Hmm. All right. Well, we'll uh, we'll give it some minutes here, and then we'll see how we proceed. Uh, it could also is are there any types that don't have um, that don't have rat spawn? I guess um, gas cloud harvesting. And this is fullerite. So I don't know. Uh, this web page doesn't really tell me much. Got about three more minutes till we hit the twenty minute mark. Yeah, so the ordinary had a sentry spawn. I'm just figuring that something's gonna spawn in here. What's safe distance to aggro? Oh, I don't know. I'm not very far away. I'm only 15 away. I'm just far enough to cloak. Two hundred is safe from aggro. Okay. Do they still spawn while cloaked? Yes. They, um, the timer starts whenever you enter the, um, the area. And it may, the timer may not start when cloaked, but if the timer's already started, then a cloak won't stop it.
Then it'll be 20 minutes. Could it be that there's no spawn? Even if they spawn, you have time to warp off. Yeah, especially at a token. I, I think this is one of probably one of the um one of the easiest sites. Um Eve University says that there is going to be a spawn. Sleeper ships. See anything spawn yet, though? Don't say that these things are going to spawn. I forgot another spreadsheet here, too. A token here. It does say there's going to be a merchant escort and an awakening watchman. So, but nothing's, nothing's spawned yet. So... We're definitely over 20 minutes. And they're not here. All right. If you're watching on YouTube, you're going to have to wait till the next episode to see what happens. Stay tuned. For the next episode. Right. Mm-hmm.